Microsoft Copilot for Sales is designed to transform your selling process with the help of AI. I'm really excited about this interview and get an opportunity to talk with Partner Director of Product Management, Aaron Bjork. Hello, Aaron. Hi, Carolina. That's good. We've been talking about this for a little bit as we prep for this interview. I'm really excited about Copilot for Sales. Why did we create this experience? Yeah, so let me tell you a little bit about it. So first of all, Copilot for Sales is exactly what it sounds like. It's a role-specific Copilot designed specifically for sellers. And uh, what it does is it brings AI enrichment from your connected instance of your CRM, whether that's Dynamics or Salesforce, and it brings that directly into the flow of work for sellers. Mm -hmm. So now why did we build it? Well, when you go talk to sellers, uh, sellers talk to customers all day long, right. and they do a lot of work with customers in M365 productivity apps, whether that's Outlook, Teams, Word, you name it. Uh, but sellers also have a CRM, and most sellers actually don't love their CRM. They, they, <laughs> they have don't. to use their CRM, no, right? No. It's a goldmine of data for the organization, but right. often sellers feel like they sort of work for the CRM rather than the other way around. Right. So our intention in building Copilot for Sales is to kind of turn that conversation around and make sure that CRM data is always at the fingertips of sellers and all the mundane tasks that they might need to do, whether that's keeping it up to date, you know, adding new contacts and leads can all be done in the M365 productivity tools where they're already spending all their time. Right, bringing that information right into them with them in the flow of work is what it sounds like you're talking in about. In the flow of work, making them more productive, right, absolutely. Exactly. So there's two places when I remember my time when I used to sell long ago, there's two places where I spent my time back then they were a little bit different, but now Outlook is definitely one of those places. So how is this informing the experience in Outlook? Yeah, so let's, let's uh, kind of imagine experience. You're a seller and you get an email from a customer, right? Uh, before you might have to go over to your CRM and look up that customer, try to figure out who they were, you know, what organization they work for, what leads we have associated with them, what opportunities. <laughs> What we do now with Copilot for Sales is we have this contextual sidecar where we bring all that data right there for you. And what that allows the seller to do is have sort of everything they need about that customer at their fingertips. Additionally, we're gonna help you summarize the email, we're gonna help you prepare a, a great draft reply to them and sort of make sure that you can personalize your interaction and that it's as good as it can be. And that, and that seller didn't have to go hunt down all that data back in their CRM system. It was right there for them in Outlook. Exactly. And I think a lot of times when we talk to sellers, you know, they know they need to make updates to the CRM. They know right. it in the moment when they're reading the email, yeah. but they're not going to alt tab over and go try to find the opportunity record and do it. Right. Yeah. You know, now with Copilot for Sales, it's literally at your fingertips. And some of it's done for you. You know, the AI right. is there to prompt you when you need to make updates make it as simple as a click of a button. Absolutely. Well, now we have another surface area now. Now we have Microsoft Teams. That's another place where sellers spend a lot of time. So how does a Copilot for Sales show up there? Yeah, so I mean, um, we all spend a lot of time on Teams these yeah. days, right? I, like we're doing this in person, which is great, instead of <laughs> right. on Teams. We've exactly. done a lot of that in the past. But when sellers are spending time with customers, they're spending time you know, in meetings with customers. And Sometimes they're gathering requirements about you know, a particular product. Sometimes they're making pitches. But in all those situations, they need prep documents for those meetings. And they also typically want a meeting recap. You know, what did we discuss with that customer? Yes. What Copilot for Sales does is it brings all of those experiences to you. So after you have the meeting, you get a rich, full, and complete meeting recap that includes uh, suggested follow-ups, uh, competitor mentions, brand mentions, you know, bringing that all to you. And of course, it's all hooked up and wired up to the CRM. So you can write that back into the place where everybody has access to it or the people in your sales organization have access to it. That's so important, keeping the whole team that's supporting that customer informed and up to date. Absolutely. That was always the bane of my existence. Uh, you know, the information was in my own mind, but it wasn't properly See, disseminated. you moved out of sales too soon. I yeah, because now well, it's easy. Probably we not. No, yeah. <laughs> probably not. But so, you know, let's, what's next? Like, as we think about this going forward, um, you know, what's next? And how do we think about the, all those better together scenarios um, that I love to talk about across M365, but I know you've been thinking about too. Yeah, so you know, when I think about what's next, today we're announcing Copilot for Sales. And what is so exciting about that announcement is that it includes Copilot for M365. Oh. So the key here for anybody using Copilot for Sales is we're not talking about two Copilots. This is really one integrated experience directly in the Copilot for M365. So as an example, 
Uh, Copilot for M365 in Outlook, for example, will already do email summaries for you. Right. It'll do you know, generating replies and right. whatnot. What Copilot for Sales does is it layers into those experiences in an embedded way and brings CRN enrichment right into those surface areas. So if you're a seller, you're not choosing which you know, Copilot to use. You're just using Copilot, again, in those M365 apps, but now you've got all the CRM enrichment you know, deeply embedded and integrated. Now, additionally, um, we've got a lot of chat surface areas now in Copilot, right? We talk about interacting with your data. Yeah. We're doing exactly the same things with chat. So if you're in M365 chat, you can ask questions about you know, your opportunities from your CRM, oh. uh, forecasts, deals that are upcoming, and we're bringing all that enrichment right back to you. So it's a blending of the Microsoft 365 graph and all the data that you have as a seller with all of that data from your CRM into a unified experience. Absolutely. And, you know, this is making me think, I love this idea of this unified experience. I mean, you know, it, it really stuck with me. Satya said earlier, we are the Microsoft Copilot company, right? These experiences are going to show up throughout our ecosystem. Um, but this role specific type of Copilot experience, I think is really powerful. What, are we thinking about others? What's going to happen with absolutely. that? Absolutely. So we describe these as Copilot applications, and Copilot for Sales is the first of what we envision to be many role-based Copilots. So I think this Great. week we're announcing Copilot for Service, which will help service yes. agents. And you can kind of see a pattern here yeah. where we can bring you a tailored experience depending on the role, the persona, or sort of the the job that you have uh, within an organization or a company. Well, and that's just empowering everyone. If we think about Copilot, you know, uh, unleashing people's productivity, uh, you know, helping people with their creativity and up-leveling their skills, being able to tailor that to a specific role is something that I think people are going to find empowering once they have that aha moment. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. And, uh, that's why I love, I know that we're going to um, go over to our good friend, Jeremy, here in a moment, but the videos that are available um, out on Microsoft Mechanics, I think they're really important. Anytime folks can see that these demonstrations, it's important because then they're getting that visual of what this is really going to be like for them, right? Absolutely. And when we when we light this up and turn it on for sellers, you sort of see, you know, immediately the smile on their face because yes. suddenly they realize, oh my gosh, this thing's working for me. This right. thing is helping me. It's empowering me. It's making me a better seller and really helping them do their job. So absolutely. Yeah. Anytime that I don't have to go to another system to make an update about what is happening in my, you know, support or service with a customer is a good thing, right? Because that's automatically also doing something that we don't talk about enough, which I think is really about the attention fragmentation. You know, that fragmented attention, it creates mental fatigue. And we talk a lot about that. But being able to have this work in the flow of your work, it reduces that mental fatigue. It lets you stay in that flow state. It really helps you keep that concentration. We just wrote a new white paper about this and announced it for this as well yeah, uh, for Ignite. Absolutely. This is where we're going to help sellers do that deep work, right? And right. stay in the flow. And I think, yeah, we live in a very distractible environment yes. these days, Squirrel. right? We, it, it, the world is. And <laughs> yes. I mean, I, I run into it all the time. I'm on my machine and I go, you know, move over to another app to get some bit of information. And suddenly I'm down a rabbit hole and I forgot what I was doing in the yes. first place. Yes. Sellers are no different. So right. we're just trying to empower them and make their job easier and help them do the best they can as they're engaging, interacting with customers. And in that new modern collaboration paper on uh, attention management is actually the math about the time that it takes you to regain your focus, to get back into that flow state uh, from that moment of distraction. Uh, and you know, it's really, if you think about how much time many of us, myself included, uh, can burn with that. I'm really happy to, to see experiences like this. It's going to be great. But Absolutely. I know we want to actually see that. Yeah, let's see it. So what's going to happen now? Thank you so much, Aaron. But um, if you want to get started with Copilot for Sales, the team has put together a handy guide. Check that out at ak.ms copilot for sales underscore mechanics underscore October 2023. And for the full Copilot for Sales experience, make sure to head to ak.ms copilot for sales underscore page because we like underscores.